His first political announcement of March 9, 1832, he said, Every man is said to have his peculiar ambition. Whether it be true or not, I can say for one that I have no other, no great as that of being fully esteemed by my fellow men. By rendering myself worthy of their esteem, how far shall I succeed in gratifying this subject is yet to be developed. A great statement by a person who later became the 16th President of the United States in 1861, Abraham Lincoln. Not so much that a person has and his or her peculiar ambition, as much as how much time you have to develop such ambition. President Lincoln's life was cut short at age 55, 56, in 1865. Not a young man, but nevertheless, young at heart. Today we remember a young woman who had ambition and a great future. Her name is Bet Alexandra Velasco, born at Easter Sunday in 1988. After graduating from California State University, San Bernardino, she worked her way up in San Bernardino County's public 
environmental health services department as an environmental health specialist for seven years. Earning affection for diligence and unsolicited acts of kindness. Her friends said that her personality was blend of gentleness, gentleness and fierce intelligence. Her sister said that her youngest sister had been seen advised on track careers and other life decisions. One sister said the best was her north, her guiding star. Yvette's father, Robert Velasco, and her mother, Ms. Maribel Velasco, are here with us to honor her daughter as well. Mr. Velasco stated that her daughter paralleled his own career. Mr. Velasco, a retired lieutenant of California Highway Patrol, said that his daughter was born at the time he joined the California Highway Patrol and that Yvette was her guardian and his family protector. And now her life was taken only weeks after he retired. On December 2nd, 2015, Yvette's life was cut short at age 27 years old by a terrorist act in the government building. Although Yvette's gratifying ambition and what could have been her success in life will not be seen. But her memories, her gentleness, and her love for others while she was here is an example for those who knew who she was. And what she left behind is for us to treat others with kindness, love, and affection. The American flag that was retired, the flag that was posted every day on the building that was owned by a cousin. And it's now retired in government. We must remember the legacy that each one of us leaves behind. Some tragic, some not. Her life was very short, unfortunately. Her father Mom and the rest of the family. We mourn every single day. And let us not forget all those others that were in the same place at the same time. Let us not remember those that represent the flag of freedom that we have. And it's because of those men that fought for this freedom. It's because we're here today. Yvette Velasco, at age 27. I was cut short in the building that was owned by the government. And let's not forget, she should have, could have had much more, but it was cut short. The flag of the United States of America is the most recognized symbol of our nation our national ensign and the standard of our armed services in this county. It is the spirit of our undying devotion to our country. It has been the banner of hope and freedom for generations of Americans. Our flag represents the highest ideal of individual liberty, justice, and equal opportunity for all. May we all continue to enjoy the life, liberty, in pursuit of happiness, which has been granted to every American as a free person. This flag has nobly reminded us of the golden rule, loving one another and doing unto others as we would have them do unto us. Today, these colors were tattered and faded, and we have served their country well with honor and distinction. We have now reached the end of the patriotic era. May the service, tribute, memory, and love of our faded and worn American flag be honorably returning them and retire them with dignity and respect. It is to this end that we submit our service worn flag for proper and dignified support. So will Troop One please stand? Open your songbook on page 22. I know what it does. 
I now ask that you read the amphitheater in a single file and join me in Scout Vespers as you do so.
white ski. Who wants, who wants to call, call him Mondo? Okay. On three, we'll go with our left. Ready? One, two, three. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. I'll hold a little bit so everybody gathers up. Ready? Left. Right. Ready, everybody? Left. All right, I'm bored. You guys missed the objective is to turn 90 degrees to your left and head toward the yellow stripe on the camera. This, I guess, is going to be green steps. Left. So, it's yeah. one big to the left. Okay, so. so left and big right. Do so the vertex. Don't get away. So you'll sit. Up front, we have to straight down our right. So everybody, we're going to go about three inches to the right. Go left again. Okay. On three. One, two, three, left. There we go. Yeah. Tighten up right. On Tighten three. Right. One, two, three, right. right. Left again. Left again. On three. One, two, three. Left. Somebody lift. On three, we're lifting left. Ready? Left? Yes. Yeah. On three. One, two, three, left. Tightening up right. On three. One, two, three, right. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. 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 O